willkommen zu einem neuen Tierra Linda Podcast Interview. Mein Name ist Tobias Schnellbecher und bei dem Podcast geht es rund um das Thema Leben und Investieren in Costa Rica und es werden auch einmal ein paar unangenehme Dinge angesprochen. Ja, mein heutiger Gast ist die Arlene. Sie stammt ursprünglich aus Kanada und lebt jetzt mittlerweile in der Gegend um Playa Naranjo. Sie ist nicht im klassischen Expat-Alter und ich würde sagen, sie ist auch nicht auf die klassische Art und Weise ausgewandert. Also es hat sich irgendwie ergeben. Ja, für das Interview heute ist ihr Freund der Kameramann. Ich habe meinen Tripod vergessen. Und, ja, und wir sprechen in dem Interview über die Gegend um Playa Naranjo und wie Aline dort hingekommen ist. Ja, und bevor es mit dem Interview weitergeht, bitte ich schon mal jetzt die störenden Hintergrundgeräusche zu entschuldigen, die etwa in der Mitte des Videos auftauchen. Das sind dann so Staubsaugergeräusche. Das Anwesen, was uns da zur Verfügung gestellt wurde für das Interview, wurde gerade mit fast einer Hundertschaft von Putzangestellten für die Ankunft des Eigentümers vorbereitet. Ja, und dann noch etwas. Das Interview wird am Ende relativ abrupt abgebrochen, da sich meine Kamera in, die, in der prallen Sonne komplett überhitzt hatte. Nur so viel schon mal zur Vorwarnung. Und jetzt geht's weiter mit dem Interview. You are here the in the administration of the um, gated community. Yes. And um, just tell me, how did you come to Costa Rica? How, how long have you been living here in Costa Rica? Um, I've been in Costa Rica for about uh, four years. Mm -hmm. um, I came, a co-worker of mine um, got married here. Okay. So I came down uh, to visit them. And uh, they were living first in the Arenal area, mm -hmm. and uh, I really liked it. So I came down for uh, two weeks, ended up extending my flight for a week, <laughs> okay. and then missing my plane, and uh, I didn't want to leave. So oh, wow, okay. I went back home to the freezing cold of Ottawa, Canada, and decided oh. that I was going to pack up my stuff and, and, uh, and move here. In, in which month did you um, I. I went back home in February, and, uh, okay. and then uh, yeah, and then I thought, well, I would save some money, so then I moved here uh, New Year, the following New Year, so oh, okay. a year after I came, and uh, I've been here ever since, mm -hmm. living in a couple different areas. So. Okay, and and what have you done, and uh, what did you do in, in, in Canada before you came to, to Costa Rica? Uh, in Canada, I worked for a Hyundai dealership. I was their uh, okay. finance manager mm -hmm. uh, there for almost eight years. Okay. Um, and yeah, I just I quit everything and I came here. Okay. I wanted a less stressful life. <laughs> <laughs> so so the idea to move to Costa Rica or to stay here, uh, how how did it? How, well, I thought. Did you decide that? I, I had uh, quit Hyundai and I, I, you know, visited Costa Rica and I really liked it and I thought if I, you know, I gonna look for a new job, I thought I'd come to Costa Rica for six months and mm. see how it goes. Okay. And um, yeah, I, I was lucky, I, you know, I found uh, a great job with a tourist company mm -hmm. uh, customizing Costa Rica vacations. Ah, oh, okay. Um, so because that all kind of worked out and mm -hmm. the stars aligned, I just stayed. <laughs> ah, great. Yeah. And and how did you come here to, to uh, play in Naranjo? I got to play in Naranjo uh, because of my boyfriend, Adrian. Mm -hmm. uh, he came to Costa Rica about two and a he half. Holds, he holds the camera. And he's the camera guy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was invited here um, by some friends of his mm -hmm. uh, that, were, that were staying up here uh, okay. that were from Poland. <laughs> and so he came for two weeks and literally never went home. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so uh, he was to uh, stay in Roma del Mar, I think, for, what, two months, did he? Yes, roughly. And um, and then he went traveling, and then I met him in our travels. Okay. And um, we decided uh, he wanted me to come up here to uh, show me how beautiful it was. And so we finally made it up here and really liked it. And, and luckily, uh, they really liked us, and they decided to keep <laughs> ah, great, great. And and how do you like? Uh, um, uh, what do you especially like of this region compared to other areas, of Costa Rica? Um, I think well, probably the thing I like the most is that it's not touristy. Okay. It's you know it's really um, 
quiet, it's got a lot of nature, um, and it's not as, as touristy as places like Tamarindo and Nasara and, and, you know, Coco. It's, it's just a little bit more down to earth. It's, you know, mm -hmm. more local. You're having a more true Costa Rican experience. Okay. More authentic. <laughs> right, right. And, um, yeah, what, what are the three positives, the three um, positive sides here? From this region, when you this when you have all, when you would have all, uh, um, only three things, three positive things to say about this region here, which one? Um, which three. Well, I would say. Um, well, the n number one is just it's beautiful here. It's a really nice combination of rainforest and beach. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's you know you get a, a really nice wildlife. You know, it's it's a really friendly you know area, but it's it's just it's beautiful. Okay. And the beaches are nice. The rainforest is nice. It's a nice area. Number two, I would say that it's really accessible. Mm -hmm. Although it's out of the way and not touristy, mm -hmm. you're still like you saw today. You got here really quick from Liberia. It's all paved roads, so. Everything's about you know an hour to two hours away. All your main towns and right. and other beach towns. So it's it's really accessible on the weekend to go visit somewhere else or mm -hmm. or to go into a bigger town to bigger shops, uh, okay. which is nice. And number three, let's see. Um, I don't know. Number three, I say it's Roma del Mar. It's really nice to be able to <laughs> okay. live in one of the really nice houses here, mm -hmm. and the people here are really nice. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a really nice community. Oh, okay. And the food. The food is great. The food, yeah. The you're, food is, you're chef, you're chef. Yeah, and the food is always great, yeah. <laughs> okay, and um, I also want to include negatives. So, um, to in order to show everything, every, every everything has two sides. What would be the three negatives of, of this area? Um, I'd say one of the negatives is it's not... There's not really um, any nightlife, you know, or mm -hmm. like a lot of restaurants. There's, okay. you know, your t typical Costa Rican little sodas, mm -hmm. but there's there's no, you know, higher end restaurants. So there's not a lot of options as far as going out. So, okay. um, you know, there's like little local bars, but there's there's no no options really. There's not really much nightlife. So you kind of got to make your own fun down here. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'd say that's definitely, you know, one downside. Um, if you're, you know, into surfing, you know, there's not really any surf in here as we're in the bay, in the Gulf of Nicoya. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't say it's much of a surf town mm. uh, or anything like that. But it's nice for, you know, swimming and snorkeling. Um, but I'd say, yeah, it's definitely no surf. No, no, surf. no major, okay. like, water activities as, as far as that's concerned. Okay. Okay. Um, Number three. Number three, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I guess, um, I don't really know, I, I guess, well, yeah, you can, there's not a whole lot right in Naranjo, so, I mean, it's not a far drive, it's a 20 minute drive to Hikaral, which is a bigger town, so, mm -hmm. you know, if I do need to go to the bank or anything like that, I guess it's, you know, you, you, you can't, it's not down the road, you know, it's, you lose a 20 minute drive okay, okay. away from kind of your so, so major you stuff. need You need a car. Yes, you need yeah, a car, need definitely. A car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And, um, yeah, what do you do in your free time? Which activities can you recommend here? Do you, do you snorkel here? Or? Um, well, yeah, I like the, there's a, a couple nice beaches close mm -hmm. by. Um, so we like to, you know, go have a beach day. We'll hang up our hammock in between the palm trees and okay. Playa Blanca down the road. You can snorkel there, you can kayak there. Mm -hmm. um, so we do some kayaking, there's a couple of little islands you can kayak to. Um, you know, suntan, veg by the pool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, more, more relaxing. Um, there is some really fun activities um, not too far from here that you can do, uh, like Isla Tortuga mm -hmm. you know, out of uh, Karoo National Park, which is about a 45 minute drive from here. Um, and then probably my favorite part is um, Karen Morganson, mm -hmm. uh, which is a newer reserve um, that is, uh, it's about a 40 minute drive just because it's dirt roads to get there, um, but it brings you, it's like a 30 minute hike to this epic waterfall, uh, okay. and it's okay. really private, right. nobody really knows about it, so I've done it a couple times, and you know, you end up just being you and your friends in the waterfall, and it's, it's really pretty, and it's kind of a nice thing to do, you know, on the weekends, in the afternoon, 
kind of pack up a cooler right. and take a nice hike and you know, get in touch with nature. Okay. Yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, what what can you recommend here? Uh, it's, it's kind of uh, remote a little bit, so what can you recommend if somebody would need a doctor? For a doctor? Well, actually, we have um, about six doctors that own houses up here, so oh, if you're okay. in luck and one of them is here, <laughs> you'll <laughs> okay. have a U.S. doctor in town. Um, we also have um, a small clinic that they put together for us, mm -hmm. um, kind of for you know emergency stuff, so they, okay. we have things there. Um, if someone has an allergy reaction or whatever the case may be, um, we have kind of an emergency set of uh, set up in the clinic uh, beside the supermarket here okay. in Roma del Mar. There's also a really good clinic in Hikaral, which is a 20-minute drive from mm -hmm. here. Okay. And then there is the it's public one, right? It's uh, uh, the public and the private. Uh, private, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there is a hospital in the Koya, okay. which is about an uh, hour drive. From For a huge emergency, you can get a helicopter and from. And yeah, you can order the helicopter San to, San to, okay. to San Jose to the to the hospital there if you need okay. to as well. So you, you already uh, answered my, my, my question for uh, where do you go for shopping, so here... Uh, yeah, no, definitely. And well, you can catch the ferry across to Punta yeah. Arenas, you can drive down to Picaral or Nicoya. Mm -hmm. Everything's pretty accessible. Even once you cross to Punta Arenas, San Jose is only about an hour and a half drive. Okay, okay. So depending on what you need. The true is everything is here in the market on spot. But yeah, we've got the market here, which is great, because I okay. mean, food-wise, we get everything. We get the fresh vegetable, right. fruit truck. Mm -hmm. We get organic chickens uh, and organic eggs from the chickens here, okay. uh, from the Roma del Mar, little finca. So we get, you know, it's got a, all your basics. You only really got to go into town for, you know, I don't know, bigger <laughs> stuff, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe once a month. Or yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what about infrastructure and telecommunication here, for example, internet or landlines? Or, uh, that mobile. we have. Yeah, everything here in Roma del Mar, we have. All the houses have um, high-speed wireless internet. Uh, we have the wireless internet at the supermarket for anyone that wants to come and use internet there. Um, yeah, we have internet, therefore we have landlines. Okay. Um, you know, the cell phone reception is good here. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's, yeah, we have water. We have several of our own wells, so the water is safe for drinking and, and whatnot. So. The, the, the own wealth, it, it's it's one one uh, spring you have? or No, he has several different several springs. Several springs. Yeah. So I don't know how many in total, but we're independent as far as that's concerned. We have okay. enough water, for sure. <laughs> okay. And do you know anything about future projects here in this, in this area? Um, it's, uh, probably not, it's not a very big town, right? So mm -hmm. I don't really yeah. know. Uh, I've, I looked into it. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything at this point new happening. Here in Roma del Mar, this year before Christmas, we're going to put up a tennis court mm -hmm. okay. and a basketball court, okay. uh, which should be really nice. And um, next year, we want to open up a gym, okay, uh, which should be great. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's uh, in Hikaral, it's like 20 minutes away. They just started doing Zumba classes on Wednesday. Okay, kind of fun. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, I mean, like you know, there's. Not, uh, Maybe yoga. Uh, not yoga. anything new. Um, yeah, yoga. I, I'm yeah. gonna try and put together some yoga retreats. Okay. With some yoga teachers I know, so okay. that's something that will be coming soon. Great. But, uh, that's about it. I mean, yeah. There's no, not nothing I know of as far as new restaurants or anything yet, unless our personal chef decides to open one. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And. And what, what private or, or business projects do you plan or are you working at the moment? Um, right now like I'm just personally, kind of... Yeah, you're, you're working, here I'm working here. Administration. Yeah, administration. Um, helping everybody um, when, when they're here to put together their vacation. Sending them canopy zip lining or mm -hmm. snorkeling or on safaris, crocodiles. Any, you know, okay. any fun tours. I'm kind of trying to help everyone with that. And, um, and, of course, trying to get people to visit Roma del Mar. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, working on getting people to come and visit. <laughs> so, we'll, you, you will stay in the, the real estate field yeah. next time? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, to your opinion, which three character properties are most important ones in order to live happy in Costa Rica? Oh, well, I guess you, kind of you, really, you... you really need to have some patience. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I would say patience. <laughs> Number one, um, everyone said that it, it takes Everyone's time. Said, yeah. You know, it's Costa Rica. It's beautiful. It just it takes time to get things done. Mm -hmm. You don't if you if you don't have patience, you're going to get frustrated. Right. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I would say, um, yeah, I mean, you know, patience, you need to be able to, you know, um, learn to, you know, I guess, uh, I don't know. Spanish? Learn Spanish, yeah, that's a good one, definitely. You want to learn the language. It makes things much easier if you learn the language. Um, so it takes time learning the language, having patience, and I guess if you want to purchase things in Costa Rica, it's good, you know, you always want to have a, a good lawyer for paperwork and, and whatnot to yeah. make sure you, you know, everything goes smooth. <laughs> okay, okay. And which three tips can you give people who want to live or invest in Costa Rica and especially in the region around Playa Naranjo? You already said a, a lawyer, a good lawyer? Yeah, a good, a good lawyer is always helpful. Um, you really, I think before you invest here, you want to you wanna live here for a little while. I mean, visit it, of course, and then if you like it on vacation, then maybe try and do like a long-term rental, for, you mm -hmm. know, maybe three months. So really make sure that this is a place that you know that you could relocate to. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that's a good thing. And, and to know what you want to do with your property, whether it's to re to live here, to relocate here, or whether it's to use it as a you know rental vacation home, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because then you would you'd want to you know. Um, that would kind of depend on how you would design your home, right? Or right. what you would choose. Exactly. Um, I think, but uh, yeah, you know, you wouldn't buy a car without test driving it. So if you're gonna relocate somewhere, it's, you know, you want to live here for a little bit, try it out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. And as final question, uh, what lesson have you learned during your time in Costa Rica and Playa Naranjo until today? Until Post Costa Rica visit included. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, Yeah, till today. I mean, yeah, I would say, you know, patience. I've learned uh, also driving skills in Costa Rica. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dirt roads and, you know, rainy rainy season driving and, yeah. uh, you know, local driving. It's not, sometimes not a lot of signage, so <laughs> you have to have a good idea of, of where you're going. Okay. Um, I would say, yeah, patience.